top six best GPU for Warzone in 202. Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best GPU for Warzone in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you wanna see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. And like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number six, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 is simply put, the best consumer graphics card on the market in terms of performance. It runs circles around the last gen flagship RTX 3090 Ti and easily chews through any game we throw at it, no matter the settings. That said, with great power comes great price and this GPU Keiju will set you back at least $1,599. Thanks to a foreign GPU, the RTX 4090 packs in 52% more graphics processing CUVA cores than the RTX 3090 Ti, and also runs 43% faster than the RTX 3090 Ti as well, all while drawing the same amount of power as the last gen card. In terms of gaming performance, it's the only graphics card that can confidently game at a native 4K resolution with ray tracing without the help of DLSS. It's more than 50% faster on average than the RTX 3090 Ti, and with DLSS 3, with full frame generation, the RTX 4090 can get as much as double the frame rate achieved with last gen's DLSS 2.0. If you can comfortably afford an RTX 4090, you probably won't need to upgrade your GPU for the best part of a decade. While even the best gaming monitors out largely stick to 4K, Nvidia's latest flagship GPU can actually handle 8K gaming, meaning it'll play nice with screens of the future that cater to beyond UHD. Not that we'd suggest picking one up for that purpose, as the RTX 5090 will eventually arrive to properly raise the resolution bar. Number five, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. Once known as the RTX 4080 12GB model, the NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti is only mind range in name. That's ultimately reflected in its price, but it does pack a premium punch for less than the RTX 4080. Yes, new DLSS 3 features do the heavy lifting in games that boast support and it could be doing with 16 gigabytes VRAM to bolster its 4K capabilities. However, this 70 series card is still worth a look in 2023, especially if you can grab a decent deal. Coming in at $799, the RTX 4070 Ti is anything but cheap, and it's best described as a more affordable premium GPU. Understandably, most of you probably don't have over $1,000 to spend on a single gaming PC part but NVIDIA's new 70 series provides new gen vibes by making short work of 4K and ray tracing workloads. In many ways, it's actually comparable to an RTX 3090, which isn't too shabby considering it costs a chunk less. The GPU battlefield is unpredictable and upcoming AMD GPUs like the Radeon RX 7800 could usurp the RTX 4070 Ti. That said, DLSS 3 and frame generation give this card an undeniable edge, and while it admittedly feels like AI upscaling does a lot of heavy lifting, it'll help the Loveless card stay in the running for quite a few years to come. Number 4. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XVX The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XVX had a lot of pressure on its shoulders when it hit the shelves. The latest flagship from NVIDIA's biggest competitor needed to be strong to reinstate AMD as a genuine option. After all, PC gamers have heard nothing but demand from NVIDIA's 30 series for the last two years. AMD's latest flagship is undoubtedly one of the best graphics cards you can buy right now. It undercuts the price RTX 4080 and, more importantly, outperforms it. Where NVIDIA's cards are pricey, the AMD Radeon 7900 XDX is remarkably affordable in comparison. Where the RTX 4090 is inconveniently large, AMD's heaviest hitter is compact and practical. In all honesty, if it weren't for the obscene power of the RTX 4090 RX 7900 XDX would be the best GPU out there. For under a grand or slightly over what you get to any given retailer, this GPU is pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Yes, there are added bonuses to getting a 40 series GPU that has superior ray tracing and DLSS 3. However, AMD's own new AI upscaler, FSR 3 is on the way and it could bring Radeon RX 7900 XDX performance Closer, ever closer to its RTX 4090 rival. Number three, Intel Arc S770. New 16 gigabytes GPUs aren't all too common in 2023, and they're certainly not cheap when you do find them. This version of the Intel Arc S770 is still readily available, and now we've been able to test it fully, we deem it a genuine contender among the ranks of the best graphics cards. 
beating out the RTX 4060 in non-DLSS, non-ray tracing performance at 4K and 1440. The Acer Predator Bifrost Intel Arc A770 is a cracking GPU for gaming that you shouldn't pass up simply because Acer Intel aren't usually found in this computing realm. Intel's first batch of GPUs might have trundled through its first year on the shelves, but the continued support given to them has produced extremely viable boards if you want to buck the NVIDIA and AMD trend. In-game benchmarks were impressive enough, but we found in testing that 4K 60ifs was achievable in Returnal, Cyberpunk, and Hitman 3 if we turn the settings down a touch. With that 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, a boost clock of 2,400 Emmys and 19.66 TFL keys to work with, there's a lot of headroom for great gaming performance here and for under $300 that deserves your attention. Even older games that use DirectX 11 or older, which the Intel Arc struggled to find deal with originally, are now handled with ease. Number two, AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT. The RX 6600 XT is built first and foremost with being one of the best graphics cards for PC gamers aiming for fast frame rates in 1008. It's been geared in the marketing primarily towards the esports crowd, as the competitive games in the circuit may not be too visually demanding but require super high FPS to compensate. The RX 6600 XT is a decent rival to NVIDIA's base RTX 3060 model, however, if you're thinking of picking this GPU up for 1440 performance, then you may need to cast a wider net in the field of AMD. While the RTX 3060 T generally does ray tracing in full HD better, the benchmarks for the RX 6600 XT really do speak for themselves. AMD published the full list online where the GPU managed well above 70 FPS in the likes of Far Cry 6, Hitman 3, Resident Evil Village, Deathloop, and more. If you wanted to max out the latest titles in full HD, then this video card will serve you well. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 the arrival of the RTX 4070 marks the emergence of cheaper new-gen GPUs, and the mid-range card has a lot to offer for $499. It's still not the most budget-friendly option out there, and the fact it's a great 1440 PGU is both a blessing and curse. Nevertheless, if you're looking to strike a balance between cost and performance, this non-TIE 70 series card is worth a look. As NVIDIA's new-gen middle child, the RTX 4070 strikes a happy medium between budget and premium. If you know for a fact you're not going to pair the GPU with the best 4K gaming monitor and are looking to avoid the constraints of 1080, NVIDIA's mid-range GPU will offer a comfortable experience without swaying towards either entry-level or top-tier realms of performance. That's not to say the RTX 4070 can't handle 4K and you'll be able to experiment depending on the game. Just like the rest of the Loveless lineup, it also wields DLSS 3 support and the AI feature arguably matters more at the cheaper end of the spectrum. We'd still rather NVIDIA provided more VRAM across all its RTX 4000 GPUs, but the 8GB included with the RTX 4070 will hopefully hold up for a good few years to come. This is the top 6 best GPU for Warzone in 2023. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.